All right, I just finished watching this two-part documentary series uh, about Jimmy Savall, a famous entertainer in the UK. He's deceased now. I believe he died in 2012. Could be wrong. This guy has his own movie because he victimized children, uh, allegedly over 400 throughout a span of a few decades uh, since he's been in the entertainment industry. This guy's story is pretty interesting. And the most interesting part about this this individual was was his relationship with the royal family and other politicians and officials throughout the United Kingdom. This guy was a quasi advisor, like a consultant for the royal families and and a few other individuals, uh, high ranking political uh, leaders uh, throughout the UK. But the royal family mostly. Uh, he was in constant communication with this family, you know, like Princess Diana, Prince Charles, etc. And he would. Um, you know, again, he, he would help them to be more relatable, to not appear out of touch, you know, to 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 uh, to gain the the trust of the public uh, at the time that, you know, the, the the friendship was was pretty matured, pretty well uh, established. Essentially, uh, the royal family was seen as like out of touch, you know, untrustworthy, that sort of thing. You know, they, they were just unrelatable. And uh, Jimmy, completely different life than the entire royal family. This is a guy who, you know, working class, lower class, lower income, uh, lower income type guy. And he, uh, you know, he used to work in, the, in these, these coal mines, uh, really harsh conditions. If you ever read uh, Wigan Pier or Road to Wigan Pier by George Orwell, you'd understand the working conditions, the, the horrific working conditions in those coal mines. And that's where Jimmy comes from. That's the world that Jimmy Saval comes from. And then, of course, he rose up. Uh, you know, through the entertainment ranks, if you will, and he was essentially one of the most popular, one of the most celebrated entertainment figures uh, in UK history, essentially. And uh, yeah, this guy was a serial child predator, and he had a really, really, really close uh, relationship with some of the most powerful people in the world, and he was personally consulted and advised with so that these people could be more relatable to the public. He he, he essentially was necessary for uh, these political figures to uh, essentially appear authentic to their subjects. Uh, and, and that kind of reminds me of what is going on uh, here in the United States. I mean, the, the situation in the United States is honestly no different. So while this story about Jimmy happened, you know, quite some time ago, you know, he passed away in, I believe, like 2008 or 2012, I forget the exact year, uh, he's, he's long gone, essentially. But, but this story, despite how long ago it occurred, it's still happening here in the United States. You know, you have this illegitimate regime. You got the branded administration, and they heavily rely on uh, so-called talent from the, the film industry, the television industry, and, of course, the music industry. And then, of course, the line press. Uh, they're essentially the, the propaganda arm of the Democratic Party. Uh, along with Hollywood, though, that's also one of the, you know, the, the propaganda, uh, you know, that's essentially the propaganda apparatus for this illegitimate regime. And, uh, you know, that's just, that's just the reality of it. But, but what Jimmy did is eerily similar to what a lot of these disgusting, creepy celebrities do. People like the Weinstein brothers, Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons, uh, you know, the, 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 the fucking Kevin Spacey, Chris Tucker... Chris D'Elia, uh, goodness, man, I, I, I could go on. I can go on. We all know, you know, even even Will Smith. People don't know this, but Will Smith is a predator, you guys. Will Smith is one of these pedo you know what files This is a guy who victimized uh, Orlando Brown. He was a child star once upon a time. And Orlando Brown credibly accused this, uh, Will Smith of abusing him. Uh, you know, or engaging in predatory behavior with them as a child, as a as a young child star, and now Orlando Brown has essentially lost his mind. He's addicted to drugs. Uh, he probably lost all his money. He's probably you know living in the streets, literally li li living in the streets. And someone's like, "Oh, well, you can't trust that. You know, the guy's crazy." It's like, "Well, what do you think happens to you when you're a child and you're preyed upon?" By one of these pedo, you know what a files, like one of these Epstein types, it destroys you, and we see that throughout the the Jimmy Savile film. Some of the victims were, you know, brave enough to come forward and tell their story in this documentary, and you know, some of the uh, some of them didn't make it. Some of them killed themselves. You know, they ended their own lives, 
and uh, you know a lot of them turn to you know use of of narcotics and, and other uh, chemical enhancers, and, and it was horrible. You know, Jimmy did a lot of damage for a long, long time, and and of course we're seeing that now. You know, the with the with the Epstein creeps. You know, Epstein had his hands in the tech industry, in the film industry, in the music industry, and then of course he he had his tentacles all over the Demo- Democratic Party. Just ask Bill Clinton. And, uh, you know, he, he was around for a long time. Uh, you know, G- Ghislaine Maxwell, they're just releasing these pictures of her, uh, you know, doing some stuff with, with these Disney characters at, I think, one of the Disney parks. You know, so, so again, and of course, right now, Disney is leading the, the, the charge to, to, uh, to remove these anti-grooming bills. And that's essentially what this is all about. It's about grooming children. Jimmy Savall was famous for grooming many, many children. They said it numerous times throughout the film. He groomed an entire nation. And now we're seeing that in the United States on, on, on a more sophisticated scale, I believe. You know, because he, there's so many players involved. You have the, 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 uh, the Hollywood industry, the, the music industry, the television industry. You, you have the, the Democratic Party, essentially. You have the lying press. Of course, CNN, they themselves have a predator, uh, sexual predator problem. Uh, you know, I could go on, you guys. I could go on all day. These people, you know, nothing has changed. And the only way that this stops is if we quit buying their fucking movies. We quit, we, we quit giving them their money, quit going to their concerts, and, and we're just vocal about it. It's just like, no, I don't want to watch that movie because these people are disgusting uh, pedo lovers and shit. These people are, are pro-groomers. They want to groom children. And it's not even, like, far from the truth. It's actually the truth. And there's just no way around it. Like, I, like the, the Chris D'Elia fruitcake, he was saying things like, oh, well, you know, people who think there's, like, extra shit going on in Hollywood, they need to just go outside and jump around and, and sprint or something, go to the gym. And then, of course, he was credibly accused of grooming young, underage females. Funny. Funny how it is. It always it, it always seems to be like the, these anti-Trump people, these uh, these super woke, uh, you know, libtards, and uh, you know they're all involved in this. They're all involved in this, and uh, you know, and it's just like, even Joe Brandon. Joe Brandon was allegedly accused in a diary from his daughter from from uh, having inappropriate showers with her. And then, of course, for those of us who unfortunately saw the contents of the Hunter Biden laptop. I'm gonna again. I just I just want to put this in perspective. If a nerd at the Geek Squad kids or or some other uh, computer repair tech guy, if they call the FBI, if they call the authorities on somebody because of the contents of a laptop, it isn't because those you know that those contents consist of like stupid shady emails. It's because there's illicit images of children involved. Hunter Biden is a predator. Joe Brandon is a predator. I actually, no one of uh, Hunt, uh, Joe Joe Biden's uh, victims. He groped a woman that I know. Uh, personally, I met her when I was working for the government. But whatever. Um, yeah, nothing's changed. Jimmy isn't. Jimmy Saval, he's, he's not unique. Not, not in the least bit. Not in the least bit. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an okay uh, thing. It's an okay movie. But, again, it, the, I think there's profound cowardice on display here because they pulled back punches uh, you know, in, in, in which uh, for for that uh, the royal family, they 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 certainly didn't want to uh, offend them. It seems because they're they're currently going. Uh, Prince Andrew, at the very least, is currently going through his own Epstein scandals as of uh, making this this uh, video. And uh, yeah, you know, it's like it was a well made documentary, but it but it held back punches, and and that was its weakness. And they did so because they they themselves want to be let into this creepy club, and uh, maybe they're going to be there soon. Because the film appeared to have been well received, and this film will likely, um, you know, uh, placate the the anti groomer crowd for some time, and they'll say uh, they'll say to themselves, "See, Netflix is not down with the grooming. They 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 produce this film. They they help produce this film. They're they're, they're publishing this movie, uh, this this two part documentary series. You know, they're 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 not down with the, the Epstein crowd. And it's again, uh, they held back punches. They they held back so much." And, uh, and and it shows. Uh, don't fall for it. Netflix fucking sucks. Cancel your subscription. Don't don't pay for for the Hulu for the HBO. Don't pay for any of that. Just steal the content. Just pirate it. Engage in piracy. It's the only way. Honestly, that's like the best way to beat them. If you're demoralized and this is upsetting to you, 
there's there's solutions to combating people like Jimmy, people like Brandon, Joe Brandon, and uh, and a lot of these other disgusting creeps in the film industry and in the music industry, and it's just simply by not consuming their garbage. And by making fun of them and making fun of the people that are like have really strong opinions about like Marvel Disney shit. It's like, dude, you're fucking lame if you have strong opinions about that stuff. Uh, yeah, you still watch Star Wars? Grow the fuck up. Oh, you're you're making some uh, Harry Potter references? Uh, read another fucking book. Seriously, like pathetic. Um, you know, it's like, oh, you're you're listening to you know some bullshit from Cardib. Uh, you know, just listen to listen to something else. Get get better taste in music. Um, yeah, again, you know, just much like the royal family using the, these celebrities, uh, you know, the, the celeb- uh, current celebrities now, they're, they're used by the current illegitimate regime exactly the same way. Cardib, Lady Gaga, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All these actors are coming out, you know, uh, Sean Penn shilling for, uh, you know, the Zelensky and, and trying to get us entangled in another bullshit war. Uh, apparently he's got interesting connections with like the CIA and stuff, you know, which is how he's able to like have these conversations with like cartel warlords and shit. Uh, so yeah, interesting stuff, man. Interesting stuff. So, uh, yeah. So what do you guys think of this film? Did you guys like it? Did you not like it? Uh, am I off my rocker in regards to the Jimmy Savall character and how it's eerily similar to what we're experiencing now in 2022 with the groomers and the public education system. And of course in the music and, uh, the Hollywood industry. So yeah, I just want to know what you guys think. Peace out.